Hi everyone, this is Karma with Onward Studios. In this Photoshop tutorial, we're going to go over how to brighten an image. Now these steps could also be applied to darkening an image, just do it in reverse order, or reverse of what I show you on how to lighten it. And I may mention that as we work on these. Here's an image that's, that's a little dark, it's not too bad, but it's a good image to demonstrate some of these techniques and how to brighten an image. You can go to the image option of the main menu and choose adjustments there. However, I recommend staying away from these. Doing it this way is what is called a destructive matter, meaning I can make these changes here, but I can't get back to what the image used to look like at least easily. Instead, we're going to do the same adjustments, but in a non-destructive way by using our adjustments panel. Now, if you don't see this, Adjustments panel. Go to your window option of the main menu and select Adjustments. It will show up right above your Layers panel. And there's a couple of these I'm going to review with you that can be used to brighten an image. Actually, before I do these, let me also mention you're welcome to try these auto techniques. Auto color may brighten it. You can also try tone and contrast. My guess is auto color will make the most change. It doesn't do a whole lot for this image. The green pops a bit more after I select Auto Color. I'm going to control the, that back out so I still am back to the original image. So let's go to our Adjustments panel. The first option here, the first icon, is Brightness and Contrast. You see that when you just hang out over that first icon. If I click on that, the Properties for that Adjustment layer, notice it added a layer to our Layers panel. This is why it's non-destructive because everything that goes to a layer which can then later be either be edited or removed. With the brightness contrast, you can experiment with these sliders. Notice how it's brightening up my image significantly. You can also play a bit with the contrast if you'd like. So the brightness contrast is one option in how to brighten your image. And of course, I'm going to remove this so I can show you another technique. The next adjustment, right next to Brightness and Contrast, is called Levels. I'm going to click on that. When we do, in the Properties panel for Levels, we get this histogram. The histogram defaults to showing the value of all the colors. We do have a drop-down where it could be selective in which channel, color channel, I want to change. I'm going to leave it at RGB since we're, we want to affect the entire brightness or darkness of the image. I'm going to leave it at that. And this in this adjustment layer, a slight move, um, a slight adjustment of these, any of these arrows right under the histogram will make a will make a significant difference. So if I pull on the far right one, the far right one controls the the uh, the white or the brightness of the image. And if I start taking that to the left, you notice know, it gets brighter and brighter. The far left arrow under the histogram will darken the image if I drag it to the right. What this is doing is actually taking all these colors that are to the left of my arrow and making them black. So it's darkening it really, really quick. And then the middle one will just affect the, what I would call the gray areas or the in-between. And this one is probably the most likely candidate that you use to brighten the image. It does depend on the, uh, the image itself. But then as soon as I adjust these either direction, I, it changes rather, rather quickly. Okay, so levels adjustment is another way to brighten an image. I'm going to mention this next one. I'm going to delete that levels adjustment there to get back to the original. This one is a little more advanced. Curves. Anytime I said curves, um, especially beginner Photoshop kind of panic because curves sound scary. It's actually not so scary. The thing to remember about curves is when you first bring in a curves adjustment layer, you get this diagonal line from uh, top right to, to lower left. Again, you can do it by channel. I'm going to leave it on RGB. And the thing to remember about curves is if I click on this line and drag it to the left, it lightens. If I click on the line and drag it to the right, it darkens. Now, there's more things we can do with the curves, but that's the, that's the, oops, sorry about that. That's the basis of the curve is to the left or above that original diagonal, lightens. To the bottom or below the diagonal, darkens. If I want to lighten, I would simply drag it this way. Okay. Those are a few ideas on different ways you can lighten or brighten an image.